the king of the pirates. Today on Echoes Through Time channel, we are going to talk about pirates. Henry Every was an English pirate who had a career as brief as it was brilliant. So much so that he was even considered the king of the pirates. He earned this title in 1695, after pulling off one of the greatest heists in the history of piracy. Every began his journey as a privateer in 1693 in the service of Great Britain, but he decided to become a pirate due to delays in payment of wages. He established his base on the island of Madagascar and, thanks to his charisma, recruited a crew and forged alliances with other buccaneer captains. In 1695, he and his allies ambushed a ship sent by the Mughal Emperor with donations to Mecca. Leading over 400 men, they captured the ship loaded with treasures, seizing one of the largest loot hauls in pirate history. This heist earned him the honorary title of King of the Pirates and a bounty that made him one of the most wanted men in the world. In fact, after this success, Every decided that he no longer needed to engage in piracy and that it was better to disappear without a trace. To confuse his pursuers, he spread all kinds of rumors about his whereabouts and fate, from living hidden on a remote island to having lost everything and died in poverty. But, to this day, no one knows for certain what happened to the man once called the King of the Pirates. Over the centuries, the figure of Henry Every has fueled countless legends and adventure stories. His ability to evade capture and his mysterious disappearance have left an indelible mark on the history of piracy. The island of Madagascar, which was his refuge and base of operations, has also become a mythical place in pirate folklore, attracting the attention of historians and treasure hunters. Every's life, though wrapped in crime and violence, continues to fascinate those who study the phenomenon of piracy and dream of the days when pirates ruled the seas. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories of history.